Welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, you are going to learn to write a Java program to print the multiplication table of a number. Let's get straight into coding the program. This is my IntelliJ IDE in which I have a project created and I am going to create a class in it. I'll name it multiplication table. I'll then create the main function for which I am going to simply type PSVM and IntelliJ is going to do the job for me. I highly recommend you code with me because that way you will understand it better for sure. And still like 90% of the folks are not subscribing to Joey's Tech after watching my videos end to end. I say if you feel you have learned something from the video, please subscribe to Joey's Tech. It motivates me really to keep creating such tutorial videos for you. There is a lot of ground to cover and I'll do everything to bring the easiest to most complex programs across different programming languages to you. Let's get back to coding the program now. So first we'll declare an integer variable that is going to hold the integer of which we are going to print the multiplication table. Hence I'm going to write int and I'm going to call my variable n. All right. Now we are going to code the program in such a way that it is going to accept that integer from the console. For that, we'll write the code to display a message to prompt us to enter the integer when the program runs. So we are going to write system dot out dot println and within its brackets, we are going to write a message enter the number. All right, I misspelled it. Okay, since we have to accept the integer as the input, we'll use the scanner class. The scanner class is available in the java.util package. So let's first import it. Hence, I'm going to simply write import java.util.scanner. Okay, we'll create a scanner class object now. So we are going to write scanner sc equals to new scanner. All right. And to its constructor, we'll pass system.in as the parameter. This will create an object of the scanner class from the standard input of the program. This means that the program is going to read from the standard input using the scanner class object. We'll call the next int method of the scanner class next using which the program will read the text from the standard input, but it is going to parse it into an integer. So it will be n equals to sc dot next int. The integer that we are going to enter from the console will be stored in this variable n. Now it's time to write the main logic. We have to print the multiplication table, which means we are in the need of integers from one to 10. And when we need integers in an incremental manner, then it screams to us to use a loop. Let's use for loop to get the integers from 1 to 100. Hence, we are going to write for int i equals to 1, i less than equal to 10, i plus plus. There you go. In every iteration of the for loop, the variable i is going to give us the integer equivalent to the number of that iteration. That means i will be 2 in the second iteration of the for loop i will be 6 in the 6th iteration of this for loop and so on. The trick to printing the multiplication table lies in the way we print the multiplication of the integer taken as input with i. This is the result that we need. So we are going to write system dot out dot println n plus star plus i plus equals to plus n multiplied by i basically this plus is the concatenation operator that is used to concatenate multiple elements to form a string this line of code will first print the value of the variable n which is the entered integer then a multiplication sign which we have given as a string then the value of i after which equals to sign will be printed and finally the multiplication result of the value of n and the value of i will be printed the result of this simple expression 
where we are multiplying the variable n with the variable i. Finally, we close the scanner class object. It's a good practice. It helps Java reclaim the memory acquired by the scanner class object. Okay. Now we run the program to check the output. All right. So the program is asking me to enter the number. I am going to enter four. Let's see the multiplication table of four. And there you go. The multiplication table of the integer four has been printed on the console. You can check it out. It's correct. Let's also see in this program how to print a multiplication table using the while loop. So first we are going to print a message that will display multiplication table using while loop. It will segregate the multiplication table generated using while loop from the multiplication table generated using the for loop. Hence, we are going to write system dot out dot println and we are going to write multiplication table using while. OK, now we are going to declare and initialize a variable m to one. Then we are going to write the while loop and as its condition, we'll write m less than equals to 10. This means that the loop will run till m is 10. The moment m becomes 11, the loop is going to terminate. Now we are going to copy this line of code and paste it over here. OK, we are going to replace i with m because for the while loop, the variable, the incremental variable used is m. OK, after this, we'll write the code to increment the value of the variable m. If we don't write this, then this while loop will run infinite times. This line of code will change the value of m to 2 after the first iteration to 3 after the second iteration and so on. So this code is complete. Let's run the program and check the output. All right, so it's asking me to enter the number again. Let me enter 5 this time. And there you go. This is the multiplication table generated using while loop. You can check it. It's correct. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning from this video. Do subscribe to Joystick if you want to grow in Java. I'll see you in the next video of Joystick. Only for this video, goodbye and take very good care of yourself.